Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about broad match, specifically three tips and strategies to help your broad match campaigns generate results. And if you like content like this, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we can jump right in. Okay, so the first tip is really going to be creating focused ad groups. So we're going to go to the ad group section right here, um, and you can see that we've got four main ad groups that are enabled that are driving good results, right? So to understand this concept, you have to understand really what is broad match, right? When broad match targets a user, it's based on their intent, not necessarily their search. Traditionally, with phrase match and exact match, um, contextual searches were really the main way to target, right? So if someone's typing in um, online mortgage, you're going to trigger their ad. However, with broad match, it's more about the intent behind the search, right? So if someone is searching bank near me, an online mortgage keyword, broad match, might trigger that depending on if that person has been going to a lot of mortgage sites, has been, you know, typing in mortgage banks and, you know, various different searches or user behavior. So Google's going to look at the person and see, you know, who is more likely to, um, to interact with an online mortgage ad, right? Because it's all about interactions, which improve your ad rank and your quality score, right? And on all those different metrics, but it's really about what's the best ad for the, for this specific person, right? So it's really not about the search at all, very little, and more so about who this person is behind the search, right? So if you look at online mortgage, we've got fast mortgage, and we have online refinance, and we have pre-approval. So we have four really focused ad groups that all speak to a different user behavior, a different, a different intent, right? So three of these, the online mortgage, fast mortgage, and pre-approval, they're all purchase mortgage services. However, the intent behind all of those is very different, right? A pre-approval is more informed. Fast mortgage is someone who wants to expedite it. And then online is someone that just wants an easy process, right? So creating these really focused these really focused ad groups is really going to help um, generate good results down the line, right? So that's the first really key strategy. The second piece here is actually going to be negative keywords. So go to the keyword tab right here and then go to negative keywords. So you have to be really careful with broad, right? Because you can trigger competitive searches, you know, bad credit searches, just a myriad of searches that you don't really want to trigger, right? So you want to kind of give your campaign some swim lanes, right? Say, hey, don't go into the competitive um, searches, don't go into bad credit searches, don't go into online login searches. So you're going to want to kind of create, um, you know, whether they're a list or just dumping them in the negative keyword list, right? Over at Turnkey, we have a lot of keyword libraries that we launch our broad match campaigns from day one. And we're basically able to negate a lot of that bad traffic, um, you know, from the get go. But if you don't have a large keyword library, go into your search terms and start digging into terms that you don't want to rank for. Right. So you can create a quick filter and just say, hey, what have I not converted for in the last 30 days? Um, and start looking around and see, hey, I don't want to service for bank statement terms. Right. Or portfolio loan terms. Right. So you're going to want to start to. Um, negate those, add them to negative keyword libraries. Um, and you're going to want to scan through, especially in the first 30 to 45 days when Google's trying to learn, trying to get data, right? Because it takes time. It's really important that you help the learning process, you know, to move along much faster by going into the negative keywords and finding terms you really don't want to rank for, right? Um, okay, and the third and final strategy that's really important is going to be leveraging offline conversions and really automation, right? So the broad match keyword targeting is probably one of the most automated targeting methods that has come out for Google um, in the last 10 years, right? So again, it's all about intent. And when you can link intent to a specific action um, and fuel your campaigns that way, it, they're almost unstoppable, right? So if your campaign is trying to generate a really high you know, ROI or ROAS, right, return on ad spend, it's really important that you add qualified leads or even closed leads as an offline conversion metric. And you're going to track these using GCLIDs, right? But basically, you know, if you want to start application started, application submitted, and then you can even add a closing and then import that data by using uploads. Um, you can create uploads in a few different ways, right? You can use a Google Sheet. You can actually um, dynamically connect a HubSpot CRM, right, or a Salesforce CRM. There's a few ways to do this, right? But you're going to want to connect your CRM to send that GCLIT data and the offline conversion data back to Google um, and then go back into your campaign 
go into your um, settings over here and basically you're going to create a bid strategy that bids for value over just a cost per acquisition right um, so we're going to go into our bidding right here um, and we can actually change our bid strategy to um, conversion value and say hey i want to get a return based on the offline conversions that I'm tracking, right? Um, you know, if your offline conversion is worth $300 and your lead is worth $20, Google's gonna start to bid more towards those more valuable leads, those more valuable conversions, right? Um, again, it's all about intent and then that conversion action on the back end. It really helps generate a system where Google's really just trying to find, I'm trying to find applications, I'm trying to find closings, I'm trying to find revenue for your business, opposed to I'm just trying to find a bunch of leads. They might all be bad credit leads, right? None of them might convert. However, if you're able to create an automated solution with offline conversion tracking, you can really generate a, camp, a broad match campaign that's just highly automated and highly effective towards driving a, a revenue-based model, right? Um, another way you can do this, right, you can go into your campaign goals um, and you can actually create a specific campaign goal to like only bid towards qualified leads, right? So, hey, this campaign is only going to bid towards qualified leads. So don't even count a lead submission as a real conversion. It'll still monitor the action, but it won't use it to bid on users anymore, right? So there's a few really cool ways to set this up, but from our experiences, that's really the best methodology to create a broad match campaign that's going to be successful long term. Um, I know this was quick, I ran through this really quickly, but broad match really is pretty simple, right? Be focused, add negative keywords to help the learning process, and then utilize the automation to help generate a revenue-based approach. Um, so if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.